First, people across Texas can breathe a sigh of relief. The man police say is the serial bomber is dead. Police say Mark Anthony Condit blew himself up this morning as a SWAT team moved in. Now they're looking into his motives for the bombing. Brett Buffington is in the town of Pflugerville, Texas, which is north of Austin, where federal investigators are now hoping to get answers. Brett? And Jason, this afternoon, they're hoping those answers come from what they find inside Mark Anthony Condon's home. It's down this street in this Pflugerville neighborhood. That's where the FBI and other federal agents, some local officers as well here, working to go inside that home and see what they can find. Earlier this afternoon, the local police chief asked everyone in a five block radius to leave, to move back. We now know this afternoon that's because they found explosives inside that home. This was the scene this morning, a SWAT team in this quiet community north of Austin at the home where Mark Anthony Condon lived. Uh, I watched the truck come down the street and shove the car out of the way and, you know, they started announcing this is the FBI, we're here to serve, serve a search warrant. Two roommates also called this house their home. They're now being questioned, not believed to be suspects, but it's a desperate search to learn more. The more than 400 local, state, and federal investigators assigned to this case got two major breaks yesterday. A defused bomb they found at an Austin FedEx sorting center and surveillance video of Condit from this shipping store. Police say where he mailed another one. You can see uh, the, the variety of regions, the variety of people that he killed. Uh, he seemed like just a crazy person. Texas's governor today said police ID'd Condit late yesterday. Armed with a warrant, they tracked him to a hotel in Round Rock this morning. But before they could move in, the 23-year-old drove away. A SWAT team forced Condon's SUV off the road on the side of I-35 while police were trying to arrest him. Mark Anthony Condon blew himself up. Because we believe that we will have access uh, to computers to phones to uh, other media information that he has we will be able to put pieces of the puzzle together uh, to explain what happened this afternoon police don't believe that condon had a criminal record he'd never served in the military and while these bombings happened he was unemployed he lost his job at a manufacturing uh, uh, a manufacturing job here in austin last august his boss said today condon was quiet and introverted Rekha, Jason, we're expecting to learn a lot more about what federal investigators have found inside his home here in just the next few minutes. They're holding a press conference. It was supposed to start three minutes ago. We're live this afternoon. Brett Buffington, KHOU 11 News.